for another video, but first let's start this video off with a prayer. And today's prayer is, dear God, today I come before you today to ask that you renew me. If it takes for you to break me down just to properly build me back up, I give you full control to do so. Strip me away from anything that is negatively impacting me. Make me over and fill my spirit up with your good fruits. I crave your attention and love. Help me work on myself so that I can be closer to you. I invite your light and presence into my life and into my home. I bind up anything that wasn't sent by you. I demand anything demonic trying to attack me or my family to make its way back to its pits of hell. I thank you for your protection and faithfulness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I pray that prayer blesses you guys today. Right now I'm getting ready to head to Walmart. Um, I want to see what they have. I've been seeing a few Instagram uh, videos of new home decor they came out with. And just to get out the house. I've been in the house the entire week. And I might go thrifting after. I'm not sure yet. We will see. But there's a few things I also have to get for the house. So I might as well film it. And I will take you guys along with whatever I find. So I ended up finding some stuff that I was looking for. Or that I've seen like online. And not everything. I love these plates. Every time I come here, I see these plates and I love them. But they had a few things. They were stocking a lot of the summer items on there, like the summer outdoor decor and stuff like that. They were doing that. So I'll go ahead and wait another week or two and see if they came out with the rest of their items. They really didn't have much when I actually went in there. The music was so loud. I couldn't even hear myself think or if I was talking in these clips, I couldn't hear the audio. So I went ahead and um, just put music over it. You guys try not to get copyrighted. But it has some, a, a few beautiful items in here. Like two days later it is Sunday we just got home from church it's like 1 30 something and it was my turn to serve today me and John um, but we just got home we're kind of tired from yesterday we had such a great time so went to Walmart uh, Friday didn't feel anything else after that I was not feeling my best and then Saturday which was yesterday we went to the zoo we had such a great time I did film a few clips for you guys which I will be adding here soon we did that, took the kids out to eat. So it was like a family day. I did end up getting the uh, Zoom membership so we could go as many times as we want to for the for an entire year. So I think that's a better deal than versus just paying it, paying for it for one trip, especially when we live close to the zoo. So uh, if you live close to somewhere like that, that's it's a good deal. Now, if you live far away, you know you're not gonna go there, um, then of course not. But yes. We just got home and I'm outside. Sometimes, yeah, I'll be coming out here every single day and I absolutely love it. Um, sorry for the background noise, you know, the road is like right there. 
but it's so peaceful out here and I come out here to decompress um, but not cooking today John we just stopped by full line it's like the grocery store here in the, in the you'll find it in the south we got some frozen pizzas we put in the oven the kids got some ice cream chips you know school line we have some good deals and uh basically it's going to be a pretty chill day at home i got a few things to do around the house like i'm tackling some laundry and stuff but it's not like a heavy heavy day we might tackle or at least try to slightly organize what is that sound it's a gecko hello sir we might just slightly uh work on the garage we don't know yet <laughs> If we will but it needs to be done at least enough where we can walk through it right now it's very hard to walk through it y'all let me let me show you guys this gecko there he is again and yes it's the exact same gecko i showed you guys in the cleaning video he come down the uh screen like he's supposed to be part of the video sir what you doing here we saw a bunch of geckos yesterday at the zoo it was so much fun hello what are you doing he has blue eyes, by the way. <laughs> this is David. This is Puri in the reptile. Yeah, that's 
emotional weight is 100 pounds. I don't know. You know. Oh, if you want to go, go five, 500 feet away. What? No. Oh my gosh. Chilling. He said, I'm tired. It's nap time. It's really, see, look how he just wants to sleep with his arms crossed. So they know which one it is. gave me some more eggs. I brought them from church. She's using these, car she um, uses the cartons and I save them for her. So she could just reuse the, reuse the cartons, but it's like three dozen eggs. These are the um, most recent fresh ones. She has a bunch of chickens. So I'm going to boil some eggs. I'm gonna use the older ones and I bake a lot, I know that. I'm going to use the older ones and to make boiled eggs, because we, y'all, we tear some boiled eggs up around here. Don't we, y'all? Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. And for me, sometimes I don't want to eat anything, but I still need the protein. So I'll eat, I'll eat one boiled egg, drizzle it with some olive oil, some lemon juice, Himalayan salt, and pepper. Hits the spot every single time. So, and Destiny loves that too. That's the only way she'll eat a boiled egg. So what I do is, I add about a cup, sometimes a little bit more of water, depends how many eggs I'm making. I think I'm gonna make the recipes. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to make the rest of these. Now, because I'm making so many eggs, I think I'm gonna put it on high pressure for 10 minutes. I don't know how many of these are. I don't feel like counting. I'm gonna make these and then put the new set in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have a rack to put them on, which is this right here. And I put the water at the bottom. Let me get you guys slightly closer. All right. So I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna put some, some water. I do about a cup and a half. This is so much, um, so many eggs that I have to make. And then high pressure for 10 minutes. Now, if it's not that many eggs that you're gonna make, I would do like high pressure for five to six minutes around there. I like it in the Instant Pot because when you peel them, they peel so perfectly. Because when I boiled eggs last week, because I was being too lazy and then they want to bring out the Instant Pot, let's just say they look botched, so. We ate it though. Ain't nothing wrong with them besides the fact that they look botched. Well, we be tearing some eggs up. The kids be eating it for breakfast. I eat it throughout the day. And since my friend has so many eggs to give me, I am readily available to take them. It's nothing like fresh eggs. When you find someone that has fresh eggs, it's like finding gold. And I was buying like the brown cage-free pasture raised eggs from Costco and Sam's Club and even Walmart. And like the, what is it, 24 to 18 packs, like $10 at Costco. Yeah, and I would buy two or three packs at a time because we eat so many eggs. So y'all already know how the much that costs. It costs a lot. <coughs> so we save a lot with these eggs. It's the little things I get so excited about. John, all the eggs and stuff. Y'all, John has like a bump right here. So it's like a hair bump in it. And so he shaved his upper lip. Me and Nancy don't like it. He looks different. You don't like it either? That's insane. That seems not playing. She came home from church, put her pajamas on and her bonnet. She said she's gonna take a nap when she is done having lunch. How many eggs are these? It's like 30 eggs in here, John. 
All right, so high pressure. High pressure, okay, pressure cook, high, let's do 10 minutes, and that should be good. washing machine on all the way on this side versus together it would be easier to have the washer and dryer together if you could just put the coats straight into the dryer but I was looking at the space we were doing some measurements in here because we're going to redo the laundry room and I want to put like a table right here this is going to go bye bye this shelf thing it's going to go in the garage um just trying to try it out I'm so excited to get started in here I feel like I do so much laundry and spend so much time in here the very, at the very least, it, it's got to look pretty. It's got to, so. I'm excited. That's going to be starting soon. water bath one of them already kind of popped open just this one right here I just put it in there anyway I'm gonna leave it in there for five minutes and then I'm gonna peel them off hey y'all it's a few hours later don't pay attention to the background washing clothes not washing clothes washing lawn sheets and stuff like that hmm this is my donation bin this is one of the big big containers the big ones and it's full of clothes. Now keep in mind, this is not my first time donating clothes. I donated a lot before. I also just two days ago got rid of 36 pairs of black leggings. Yeah, I know how I love my black leggings. I only got like three left. And the others are like workout ones. But y'all, these are clothes that I love. That I absolutely love to wear. And I had to get rid of them all. Not all. But you know what I mean, a good majority of them. <sighs> These are the Torrid. I, I shop a lot at Torrid. Um, and I went from a 3X to an extra large, 1X more like an extra large now. And this is the great part. I get to go shopping, but I, I might have to do a GoFundMe <laughs> to go shopping. But my point is, I love clothes. I love clothes shopping. I just love clothes. Big or small, I love to shop for clothes, okay? And this whole thing is full of um, clothes I got rid of. This is not even my first time donating clothes. My shoes, I went from a size 10. I think I'm like a nine now. These are 10 slides from Walmart. And I can slightly wear them, but then I slip and slide in them because at the back it's like a half an inch. And I'm, the whole time I'm walking with them, it's like I'm slipping and sliding, trying to keep my my foot in the shoe so these uh, I had to get rid of them but look I hope that Walmart still has the exact same ones these sandals right here they're, you, they're not that expensive sorry my feet are ashy <laughs> these are winter clothes I get to put them away they're like extra large 1x or they're like cardigans that I can still maybe rock by next winter these are winter clothes since it's getting warmer here they're just taking up space in my closet. And the frustrating part was trying to find clothes to wear. I was spending too much time in the closet trying to find something to wear. I would put it on and I was looking kind of frumpy. Did not like how it was looking. So uh took the winter clothes out and they had to take all the donations out. Oh, this breaks my heart. Now my, my closet is a work in progress right now. So on this shelf, I usually keep the um, dresses. 
because they get to hang right here I don't have many to wear and these are just the ones I recently bought this is the one that I wore to my brother's wedding it just fits better now I got this one from Walmart the time and true this was $11.98 that's when I went to Walmart did the shop with me uh, and I stopped by the clothing section and I got this one and then I, I just recently ordered this dress from Chic Soul. They're not cheap, but I, I love it. I've ordered their dresses for okay, like special occasions. And I know for sure I'm going to wear this for Mother's Day unless I wear something else. But I ordered this one. And then I had ordered this one. One of the goals I told myself, God, you get me through this. I'm going to wear more colors because I wear a lot of dark colors. And I am on a mission to be colorful. <laughs> Down here is where I keep like the top. So I went to the Salvation Army, y'all. Something told me to just check. And normally I don't go to the clothing area. And I found this top on there. This is an extra large. I really like this. Hold on, let me see if I can get it out. I'm in the closet, so the lighting may not be the greatest, but it's super cute. I got it for a dollar from Nine West. This is from Shein, a size zero. I can wear it, fit it, everything got that for a dollar see um salvation army their prices is what i look for when i go to the goodwill that's what i need goodwill to bring but they're not doing that and then i got these two tops the other day like two weeks ago from marshall's for tj maxx okay so this one was from tj maxx i thought this was really pretty with some jeans and my favorite color to wear besides like a blush pink is coral pink like orangey pink is my absolute favorite color to wear in the spring and summer so the rest of the shirts are stuff that i have remember the blue one that i got from walmart if you've been here you remember me buying that shirt and that's what i have the little section right there and then the rest are t-shirts the little t-shirts that i wear around the house work out in faith-based t-shirts that's what i keep i did, could not wear a lot of them for a very long time and now i can i can wear them and then that's it my car some cardigans that I wear because i'm very cold these days i'm very cold all the time now <laughs> and that's what i have oh my gosh oh, it's okay i get to, to to bring something new in so i had to do a little decluttering i just it had to be done it made me sad my friend angelique was here and i was gonna keep a lot more clothes you know i can't wear it because it's so big i'll be editing and sometimes like oh my god yes and yeah Time to let that one go but i'd be so attached to it you know but anyways my friend was here and she helped me get rid of more clothes that i was gonna keep and she helped me take some down <laughs> also i'm like but i look cute in this well i used to <laughs> and we got rid of even more clothes so i'm glad that it's done i'd be attached to the clothes for some reason i don't know probably because i feel like i spent the money on it but it is what it is it's already spent what can I do about it? So there's that. But yeah, I had to get that done. Everyone's taking a nap, you guys. Ed, the kids, John, sleep on the couch. Everyone's chilling. I'm not going to bother them right now. I probably should sit down for a little bit. But instead of taking a nap and stuff, I wanted to come in here and organize my side of the closet. Now, John's side, that's his business. Let me turn more this way. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> but um, one thing I want is dresses. I love to wear dresses. I used to not like wearing dresses, but now I just love wearing dresses. I like the way I feel in it. I feel so free and pretty. And I want to replace, I want to get more dresses. So I'll be going to Walmart. I'll be checking the Goodwill. The Goodwill ain't have nothing. Um, I checked Salvation Army. I didn't really see dresses in there. But I was told today of a thrift store here that people resell their stuff there. And it's called Uptown Cheapskate or something like that. So I might have to go check that out and see what I can find in there. See if I can find some dresses because I want dresses. I love wearing dresses now. So I've been wearing dresses for the past two years. So I told the good Lord, I was like, Jesus, I'm going to wear more colors, okay? Because black is normally what I wear, black and gray. But I'm trying to get out of that. And I might get a little spicy and buy a pair of white pants. You never know. <laughs> so I'm just sitting outside on the patio. I've been moving, doing different things. Not really recording this. So I went ahead and peeled all the eggs. I washed and cut up some strawberries. So the kids is easily available. And um, John is working with... 
John and Dave are working on the grill. They're putting some top on it. So if you hear background noise, I'm so sorry. But the fruit is clean and cut up. So it makes it easier for them to eat fruit. Um, and I'm just chilling. I was, I'm was. i also doing laundry. And just the different things around the house that I was just going on and on. Um, and they're doing, which I wasn't really picking up the camera. Because sometimes you just got to get it done. And you just want to move around pretty fast. Hey, baby. <laughs> but the weather here is absolutely beautiful. It is 72 degrees. And uh, I love it. And it's, I know some of y'all still got cold weather and snow and all those things. But here, I'm not trying to rub it in your face or anything. Um, it's really good. Well, the sun is out today and tomorrow. But then it's going to show that it's going to get really cloudy. And then it's going to rain a lot on Thursday. That's what it shows. So my kids are on spring break this week. When you guys are watching this, is it still spring break? It's like the last day of spring break, I think. I'm not sure. This should be the Friday video. And it looks like it's going to be great. So I'm going to definitely take advantage of the weather and go outside for a walk or whatever. Get my exercise on. I'm still exercising, doing my thing, you guys. Um, I don't always film it because I do it super early in the morning. And sometimes I'm in my bonnet working out. Sometimes with no bra on. <laughs> I've been doing a lot outside though because of the pollen. And y'all, even when I go outside just for a brief periods um my throat is so scratchy and it's burning and stuff my nose is a is a faucet like every day that's what it is and i take allergy medicine and stuff wearing a mask doesn't really help with pollen because pollen particles are very small you're still going to get that you're still going to suffer with that so it does it does it does absolutely nothing but as far as my workouts go i've been doing pretty well do it between four to five times a week um I try not to overdo it I think I was overdoing it at one point because of the fact that um, I was getting very tired so I was walking on the treadmill for an entire hour because I could easily do it now because I feel like I got more energy and I was walking on the treadmill for an entire hour at a time watching YouTube videos I had to cut back because after working out I was so exhausted and tired and just like hungry but not, I couldn't eat nothing because my stomach was not happy so I was um I had to cut back I think I was doing too much because at the end of the day I'm not eating enough calories for me to work out for that long so a 20 to 30 minute workout for me is like perfect anything else more than that John is drilling I'll show you guys what they are doing while I'm talking to y'all <laughs> so anything else more than that was just doing too much because it's it was causing a lot of exhaustion for me and just lightheadedness and stuff so I cut back and I, I'm doing well with like 20 30 minute workouts so if I do a 20 minute workout it's because I'm doing like a at home workout or a 30 minute workout uh, Kamoya Kamoya is one of my favorites on YouTube Leslie Sansone is another good one grow with Joe is another good one she, I love her workouts, but some of them are a little too intense for me, so I don't do those as much. It's a bunch of good ones on there, but Kamoya Ferre, I would have to say, is my number one at-home workouts here on YouTube. So if you're looking for those type of workouts, she does plus-size women's, like, you know, us, our type of body workouts, and she's a plus-size girly herself, so, and her workouts are amazing. I absolutely love them. You can, when it comes to any workout, you can pretty much um, make them to fit how you how you could do it. if you can't do dumbbells and don't do dumbbells and stuff like that but um but i'm gonna see if i could try to get outside this week try my best because it'd still be cold here in the mornings in the mornings going outside is not so fun but later on like a, like right now would be perfect to go out on a walk and as far as food goes because i'm giving you guys an update because i get so many questions in every video and you guys be hyping me up okay y'all be hyping me up man i've been feeling so good reading y'all comments i'm like <laughs> i know thank you <laughs> but um what was i saying as far as food goes i can pretty much tolerate anything no problems i know many people not many but like a lot of people have intolerances like some people cannot eat rice i can really easily i don't eat much of it if i do it's like a tablespoon but i can tolerate it just fine i just my biggest issue is i have to make sure to eat and chew my food very slowly i'm a fast eater and i don't chew all of my food so i have to relearn to 
slow down and sit there and not not just for a bariatric girly but also for regular people they say most people don't slow down and eat their food which causes people to overeat because they're in a hurry they chew a few times and then they swallow so kind of sit there and listen to those body cues letting you know that you're getting full my cues are like this um gassy painful feeling in my chest that i get and i already know okay yeah um it's time to just stop and i stop uh i pretty much eat about half a cup to a quarter cup depends on what it is soup i can handle about half a cup and food with more volume would be less than that but um i get full pretty fast <laughs> water intake is doing pretty well i'm doing pretty good with water if I eat very well throughout the day, I intake less water. So I'm trying to find a balance when it comes to also getting my protein in and also my water intake in because I get full from food. So it's hard to drink water when you're so full or drinking so much water. So it's hard for you to eat. So it's kind of like, you know, you're trying to find a balance with that. So far with getting protein in, I'm doing really well. I'm working on my water. Some days I don't do so great, to be honest with you. What has been helping me is sugar-free uh, flavor packets. That's what's been helping me. Water doesn't get me gassy, but for some reason, if the water now, which is crazy because I used to drink a gallon of water a day, but now if it, the water does not have any flavor, it's very hard for me to drink it. My body kind of gets like this. Ooh, you know, I don't want to drink anymore. Uh, so when I add that in there, which is my favorite flavor, is the pineapple flavor or watermelon flavor of sugar-free packets. I can drink water like this, but normally if I know if I'm drinking water, it's hard for me to eat. So there's that. <laughs> right now I am two months. No, oh, on the 17th of this month, it will be three months post-op. So that means I'm two months, a little over two months post-op. And so far I've lost about 37 pounds as of now I could probably by the time you see this video I probably could lose more I could go an entire week without losing any weight and that's if I check that week I try not to do it very often but when I do and then it'll be a week that it drops like that you know so but yeah I've lost about 37 pounds don't know if that's good enough for almost three months post-op I don't care but I could definitely see the changes now at first I didn't but I could, I could feel it in my body and I could see the changes I'm not fitting into my clothes and not to mention the sizing I feel like has changed drastically from a 3x down to an extra large that is huge so I'm very proud of my progress I'm working hard on that um, I, it's literally the best decision I've made like I feel like it was the correct decision I made for myself and I don't care if anybody agree with it or not I know I did but everyone luckily around me everyone is so supportive but I did this for me and I'm so glad I did and I had God with me the entire time where everything literally went so smoothly without not even a hiccup now this week I do gotta go I have to go get some blood work and when they do blood work they do they check for everything which is a lot of blood John when you gonna take me to get my blood done Monday one day what you mean one day okay thank you I usually when I go get blood work done I usually have my husband with me because they take so much blood out that I feel a little slightly um it's fasted and then I feel lightheaded afterwards so John just takes me early in the morning we get that done they wanted me to do that two weeks prior to my appointment so like that uh they have the results by the time I go to my doctor's appointment because I'm looking forward to my doctor's appointments now I get to see the doctor every three months so next time after this will be six months nine months and then 12 months I think the 12 month appointment will be my last now, I want to show you guys these ice creams that I just got today I'm, a sh I'm going to show you I just got it from Food Lion hey huh, that is one in there for you there's three missing David dad put them in the freezer oh I was about to attack you <laughs> You eat myself? Don't be rubbing your belly. I'll get you. All right, y'all. So these, these are called Yaso Creek Yogurt um, ice creams. Now, everybody here got ice cream. And I be feeling so left out, you guys. Especially when we're doing movie night sitting in the living room. And I got this one for myself. So this is uh, the Yaso Greek Yogurt. It has 25% less sugar. They even have the keto one. So I might try that one, too. These are only 90 calories per one. 
this is the cookies and cream and this has five grams of protein so a lot of the stuff that i get is has a lot of protein in it i have to make sure that i get my protein intake throughout the day so um i'm about to have one this is my uh my treat for today don't have them every day or anything like that just when i have that craving and when i see everybody else eating ice cream i, I feel some type of way you know so I just wanted to show it to you guys. They have a bunch of different flavors. I saw one that's salted caramel. That's probably one that I will be trying as well. And they also have the keto ones that has zero sugar. So they have those too. But I saw that those didn't have protein. These did. So I, I grabbed these instead. So don't worry. I'll try. I'll be trying them all because summer is coming and the weather is getting nicer. But I just wanted to give you guys an update because with every video I pretty much get questions and just give. It's, I mean, not much changes of what's going on but if there's a change i could try to give you guys um an update or something like that so we didn't do much this weekend i mean we did but we don't have that much going on so i hope y'all enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos you guys i love y'all see you on the next one bye guys Thank you.